So last time I spoke to you guys about hearing the voice of God and it's really important because hearing the voice of God is really the foundation for everything that we do. Without listening to the Holy Spirit or being directed by the Holy Spirit, even spending time in the Word becomes just reading a book. So, so hearing the voice of God is critical. And I spoke to you about distractions because that's really probably the biggest problem that we have is we allow these things in our lives to distract us or to make us dull and and then we just don't hear as as clearly or as well as 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 we should if you haven't watched it go back and watch it so the second part to this that i really wanted to talk about was what does it sound like what does it sound like to to hear the voice of god so I'd like to start off with a story. So a couple of years ago, I really wanted a leather briefcase. And I mean an old school leather briefcase. You know those ones that you see in, in old movies? The problem is they're not cheap. When I say not cheap, I mean they're actually stupidly expensive. They're, they're like between four and a half and five grand. And yeah, spending that on a laptop, on a, a briefcase, just, just doesn't make sense. And, and I'd looked around, you know, and I'd gone around to the different shops and looked online and, and I just honestly couldn't find anything. And I sort of, I sort of gave up. I sort of thought, well, it's just not going to happen. Anyway, so in the middle of this, I needed a new keyboard. I think something had happened to my keyboard. So figured okay I'll go to Incredible Connection, a local electronic store, and get a new keyboard. Now I had a choice. So there's one that's pretty close to us. Um, really easy access. It's it's one of those shopping centers where you pretty much drive up to the door, get out, walk inside, do your business, walk out, get in the car and leave. My kind of shopping. The other one's inside a shopping mall and I hate malls. I mean, they, they're just irritating. There's too many people around. There's too much noise. There, it's it's just. Oh, and the worst part is that this is East Rand Mall, which is my least favorite mall. Sorry, if you like East Rand Mall, go for it. Personally, I'd drive, rather drive an extra twenty kilometers and go to another mall than go to that mall. So the first shop that's closer and easier to get to is the one I'm going to. So get in the car and off I go. And I'm halfway there and, and God says to me, I actually want you to go to the one in the mall, East End Mall. Ah. And I go, sure, no problem, Lord. Now, I don't like parking in the sun. If, if I have a choice, I'll always park in the shade, even if it means I have to walk further or, or walk around corners or I don't mind the extra walk, but a cool car, that's, that's, that's for me. So I'm driving to Eastern Mall and God says, do you know what? I actually don't want you to park in the under, undercover parking. I, I want you to park at this other entrance in the sun. And I go, cool, no problem, thank you Lord. So now I'm going to East Rand Mall and I'm going to park in the sun. Praise God. Drive up there and there is a parking pretty much right in front of the entrance. Thank you Dad. At least I didn't need to park too far or struggle to find a parking. So I park walk inside and as I walk inside God says one more thing he says listen um, I don't want you to take the short direct route I want you to go around the zigzag part and I'm going cool yes Lord and now bear in mind I, I've forgotten about this whole leather old school briefcase thing all I'm thinking about is I need a keyboard Get in, get out, get done, carry on with life. And 
I start walking down this passageway and all these people are around and irritated and frustrated. And, and cool, it's fine. And as I walk along, there's a shoe shop and a shoe shop. Inside the window of the shoe shop, they have leather, old stool briefcases. So I go and have a look at them and they look pretty nice. And, and I walk inside the store and have a look at it and yes it's genuine proper leather it's old school style you open it up and it's got this beautiful soft velvet stuff to cushion your fancy aluminium laptop yeah baby and it's nice and when I say it's nice I mean it's really nice and I turn the price tag over and I can't believe it. It's 800 Rand. And I'm going, no. So I bought it. I bought a old school leather briefcase for 800 bucks. Now, here's the cool thing is if, if I hadn't listened to God those three times, if if I had gone to the closest store, I would have missed it. If I had parked in the covered parking, I would have missed it because the store was before that entrance. If I had taken the short direct route, I would have missed it. And that's a really, a, for me, a critical thing is, is when God asks you to do something, do it. Even when it seems a little bit like, oh Lord, you know. I just want to go and get a keyboard. I did get my keyboard, by the way. And the other nice thing about this is that this has actually turned into a testimony. So I've walked into, I don't know how many meetings where guys have a look and they see this, this bag and they go, that is a nice bag, China. And it just opens the door for me to tell them how God blessed me and how God guided me in this. And yes, most of them look at me going, you're weird. But that's okay. I got to tell them what God did. Now, I told you all of this because firstly, I want you to understand that when when it comes to hearing from God, it's, it's not about this deep spiritual stuff. Yes, that's critical and important. But God loves us. God loves us more than we can imagine. And, and I wanted you to understand that, that when, when I say God speaks to you, He doesn't only speak to you about what's in the Bible and, and what's holy and righteous. He, he speaks to you about real life stuff. I mean, Jesus said that He, he knows the number of hairs on your head. That's how much He cares about you. Now the other side to this is, so what does it sound like? What, what did that sound like when, when God spoke to me? You ready for it? Okay, so here it goes. It, it's like a thought that pops into your head. It's, it's like a feeling, a sense. It's, it's words or a sentence in a song that, that just seem to stand out at you. It's a dream that, that's unlike any other dream. No, not those ones where you have funny pizza the night before, okay? It's, it's as simple as that. that that's why it, we talk about the gentle whisper of the Holy Spirit because that's really what it is. And, and that's how quickly you can miss it because it's really the soft, gentle whisper of the Holy Spirit and that's where the fun part comes in is so now how do we understand or, or how do we know whether this thought that popped into our head is God or it's just me I don't know about you but I've, I've had that thought a million times and probably will have it another million times is was that me? Was that God? And the easiest way of telling it is, is there's three critical areas. Is number one, it obviously needs to line up with the with the word of God. 
and that that's pretty simple and and the only way that you're going to know that is by spending time in the word so read your bible in fact really read your bible uh, the, the cool thing is that that god says the holy spirit will bring to our remembrance so so that's a cool note is is as you spend time in the word of god the reality is that you're busy pouring it into your spirit and at the right time the holy spirit will remind you of that word that that you've read if you didn't read it he's not going to remind you of it or he's not likely to the other thing is that it needs to line up with the principles of the kingdom of god and, and what do i mean by that so, so i think the easiest way of, of explaining that is is something like along the lines of you pray this prayer, dear Lord, please could I have the lotto winning numbers? And God says, sure. Are you ready for it? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. And, and the reason for that is because firstly, God is opposed to gambling and, and lotto is really a form of gambling. Secondly, those numbers sound really familiar. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I don't think it's it's quite those winning numbers. The principle is that the principle of the kingdom is that God is not in favor of gambling. And that's the critical thing there. The last one is that it needs to hold rev a rev I should have some water. It needs to hold relevance to you or to those around you. And what I mean by that is God's not going to say pink stars are falling or something stupid like that. When God speaks to you, he speaks to you in things that you understand and, and are relevant to you. We, we're busy talking about um, hunger games and the reason why i chose that is because a little while ago god spoke to me about well he asked me a question of am i hungry and the reason why god asked that was because when in business if somebody comes along to you and says are you hungry it doesn't mean do you want lunch it doesn't mean did you eat breakfast this morning it meant how determined are you for this to happen and I understood that. So when God said to me, are you hungry? I didn't go, cool, it's almost lunchtime. I understood God is saying to me, how willing am I to push through and to push into him in this situation? I'd like to read one scripture that, that just absolutely blew my mind away. And, and this for me really is the crowning part of what what this is all about this is 1 corinthians 2 9 and 10 but as it is written i has not seen not yet heard nor has entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for those who love him wow i mean that that's that's just absolutely mind-blowing but god has revealed them to us through his holy spirit for the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. And for me, that's really what this is all about. That briefcase was really cool because it was God just saying to me, John, I love you. But hearing the voice of God, hearing, hearing God is really about what the scripture talks about is God wants to reveal the deep things of God. God has so much planned and so much prepared for us. All we need to do is listen. So I'd like you guys to practice that. Practice just listening to the Holy Spirit. No, it's not this great big lightning strike or earthquake moving ground or that really sounded absolutely weird it's not this earth moving situation it's this simple thing that pops into your mind 
but it's different because it's got that flavor, that fragrance of God. Especially when you spend time in the Word. Allow God to speak to you. Allow God to, to challenge you to, to, to look at Scripture differently, to, to dig into the Word. That's it for me. This has really been long. Sorry about that. I really want to get it to you guys. We love you guys. We hope you guys are safe. It's almost over the lockdown. I'm sure you guys are all keen to be able to go out again. Oh, I must admit, I can't wait. Once again, if you have any prayer requests, please send them to Info at Church of the Way. If you want to be part of our WhatsApp group, also please send a request to Info Church of the Way. We love you and we will see you guys. Cheers.